hi guys it's Dera Ugwala and this is my YouTube channel you're welcome so today I'll be trying that fan gile as you can see I'm doing the base pleats on the gile this is my beautiful roommate I made her up and she was so excited about the fact that she's going to be my muse and I'm in the school hostel I'm still a student in Inlag and um, a lot of people were coming over to see oh what's happening here so we're just in a lot so back to the gaily so after doing the base pleats i'm going to pleat it down the sides before turning it over at the back so as you can see i'm turning it at the back and this one i just did now you should it's supposed to be the longest um flap the longest part of the gaily Will be under while the other shorter parts will be at the top when you are turning it over at the back so i'm just going to repeat the same process on the other side which is the shorter part i use the 60 40 ratio for this gele so that's the 40 ratio i'm going to tell her to hold it there so i'm smoothing out the pleats the base pleats and i'm trying to make sure everything is in place before continuing any further because as you can see she's very excited she she was happy i i used her as my muse so <laughs> her excitement is very contagious so now i'll be doing these other pleats just watch what i'm doing what i'm doing is actually very easy to understand is self-explanatory and if you don't understand a particular part or a particular site you can always go back rewind the video and watch that part again that's the best way to actually get what you're looking for so i'm um, just making the pleats there you can see you have to make them as smooth as possible so I know the makeup is not all that of fleek, but I'm still trying. I know the eyebrows are nice, but the eyeshadow, I didn't blend it well. But hopefully next time I'll blend it well. So at this point, I'm just going to be pleating out the fan. Okay, that place can't do a fan. So the next pleat will most likely do a fan, hopefully. So just watch what I'm doing. What I'm doing is actually very self-explanatory. It's easy to understand. Yeah. So while we're watching this video, um, I want you guys to just subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel so that you can get notifications whenever i upload my videos so just subscribe to my youtube channel then also follow my page on instagram follow me on instagram dera.goala dera.goala so as you can see the gale is already looking beautiful it's looking beautiful already <laughs> she's, super, she's already excited she can see the beauty in the gale already so you can see the fan is already forming so what i do i pleat it at the point at my left hand i pleat it then at my right hand i take it out look at i pleat it there then i'll take it out do you understand if you don't understand you, start, you can go back and see how i started it it's always good to just go back and get that step before moving on so i'll pleat it again okay i'll pleat it again and you know take it out can you see that's how you do the fan so i'll pleat the last one and take it out so i'm going to now pin it down See the way I'm adjusting this gale. I'm doing it so that all the pleats will be on top of one another. All the pleats will be on top of one another. So 
so this part is like the the um for me it's my difficult part pinning the pleats like it's very difficult for me to pin the pleats so here's what we're going to do if you know any or if you have better ideas on how to pin those particular pleats down please share with me in the comment section below i'm open to new knowledge so if you have a better idea or a better method of pinning that part down as you can see i spent a lot of time pinning it down please share with me in the comment section below thank you so i tried my best to pin it as well as i could so now i'm doing the other arm that's it that's the 60 arm of the gele. You know, I told you I use a 60 40 ratio. So, this is the 60 arm and it's obviously the longest arm. So, I'm just going to pleat it the same way I did the last part. But I did not fast forward this part because I always like to show all my steps. At least, if you did not get it well on the right hand side, then on the left hand side probably you will be able to get it so that's why i'm still showing it so like i told you i'm in my hostel i did the video in my hostel and yeah there are different rooms and you know anyway i had to change the scenery from the first part to this part that's the first place i was to this place because of lighting i always like my videos having a really nice lighting so just watch how i'm doing i'm going to do the fan around here just watch can you see the fan is already forming look at it at that lower part there the fan is forming already so you just arrange it so that all the pleats are on top of each other that's the beauty can you see the fan you pleat it at that top again then smoothen it out you pleat it at that top and smoothen it out so you always try to arrange the pleats so that it will be in place you see i wasn't actually this fast i had to speed up the video because it would have been like 20 minutes and that's a lot of data on both my end and your end so if you don't tie this fast don't be worried do not be worried at all so at this point in time i was trying to just arrange the pleats in a way that it would be easy for me to pin it down i'm sorry my arm is covering it but if you look closely you see my thumb what my thumb is doing you can see my thumb there i never even knew that my arm was blocking it but you can see what my fingers are doing at least to some extent so i'm, I'm i was just folding it and arranging it so that pinning it down will not be a problem but while doing this i was also arranging the fan at the same time so while you are folding it you're arranging the fan you're folding you're arranging the fan because if you don't do it this way when you are done pinning it's going to turn out bad and you have to start the process all over again so once you arrange you touch the fan and make sure it's okay you arrange you touch the fan you arrange you touch the fan so that's how to do it to save time so my roommates most of them came out to watch what we were doing and we we're just seeing that made everything easier please i hope i'm not the only one seeing how beautiful this girl is already turning out to be just look at those steps <laughs> look at those splits oh god they are looking so wonderful i'm really feeling this gele hey only gele 
so this is this is like i said this is my difficult most difficult part this is the part that took most of my time it takes most of my time in whenever i tie gilly and is this pinning parts pinning these steps down oh it's so stressful for me so yeah so like i said you pin or you do whatever you're doing and you touch the fan back or you touch the pleats back always make sure you're touching these things to make sure they are in place so now i'm just going to do the rose it's very easy to do a rose you just turn it around turn the remaining material around and you pin it in place so whenever you are tying gilly, especially complicated styles, always pin it down. Always pin it down. As you can see, we're having fun while tying the gilly. We had a lot of my classmates coming to check and uh, to hype. They, <laughs> my classmates are nice hype men, like, came to hype. They even gave me their phones, their latest iPhones to snap the pictures you know i have wonderful people around me so i'm i, I paint that um flower or that rose to the the longer end of the gilly so it will stay so i'm like i said i'm still going to adjust the fan you always have to keep touching the fan to make sure it stays in place and whenever you are tying gilly for a customer or for a client if you want to do this kind of style that is going to stand always make sure the gilly is stiff if the gilly is not this stiff then you have to look for a style that will not really require the gilly to stand so i had to pin the other part of the rose down and i pinned it at the back because you don't need the pins showing in front so I pinned it so it won't be going down and causing discomfort. So you can see I've pinned it in place, everything is set. So you just have to retouch, you know, adjust whatever you feel you need to adjust, you know. You can see this style is very easy just do fan on the right fan on the left and a rose the only complicated part is uh, for me is the pinning of that step of um, pleats so at this moment I had pushed back the gele from her brows and she was happy with the outcome Ooh, I'm happy too this is beautiful so don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel to learn more complicated styles bye